So we're here in Central with our good friend Lydia, coming all the way from Cambodia, representing Tanle, who's one of our great partners. Um, maybe first you could just tell us a little bit about Tanle. Sure. Yeah, so Tanle is an eco and socially conscious brand, and um, it started out in Cambodia six years ago, and um, yeah, zero waste production, and we also help the communities in, in Cambodia. Why Tanle really drew me? Um, it sort of um, just has both of the aspects of you know international development, which is what my passion and my uh, schooling is in, as well as in um, the environmental side of things. Cambodia is also very well known for um, all of the factories, um, a lot of clothing factories and manufacturing factories that have um, just abysmal um, practices and in terms of um, just like the rights of the workers and in terms of their work environment um, and my my home is actually really close to a few of those factories and um, every day I can see you know these people that are coming in and out of work and yeah it's just it's a very it's a very you know hard place to be at and and so um, yeah I just think that it's really important to have you know, the, like a good work, work value and very good workplace environment. And um, so in a way, it's kind of like changing the way that we're, we're doing fashion in Cambodia. First of all, it's not a factory that we work out of. It's a workshop. So we have teams of sewers, printers, dyers, cutters, and they work in teams and it's more of a communal um, working together on a piece of clothing. Their salary, we pay them above the minimum, minimum wage and like quite, quite a bit above that and have bonus um, options for them as well as um, benefits and um, work hours are, you know, proper and we adhere to all of the um, you know, WHO laws and everything like that, and, and, and then some as well. And so we don't really view them as, you know, they're our workers, but it's like we're a big family and we're in it together and we're a community. Um, and in terms of waste, um, some of these factories can waste up to 50% of their fabric. And so for us, um, one way that we can undercut that is to use this fabric that has been thrown out um, in the name of efficiency because maybe there's like little holes or you know little stains or sometimes they over purchase um, so we purchase that from uh, um, from from these factories and then we use that fabric to create our clothes and then from our own our own uh, scraps that we've cut um, we make other styles so we um, we design some of our styles to be made out of that scrap fabric as well. And then like even the tiniest pieces, they're crocheted into little hand knit pieces. And um, even the smallest pieces that we have um, left over, we um, incorporate with our recycled paper. And so we make recycled paper and now we're making printing on those and making more products out of that as well. You talked about some of the, some of the issues uh, in terms of the, the supply chain. And a lot of people can't really understand. They say, well, if you're, if you're a big retailer, you should know how your products are being manufactured. But right. you're saying actually it's being done by third parties and that's where the issues come in. Right, yeah, so sometimes, even if a factory is um, at certain standards um, that the, re the retailer knows about, but sometimes these factories are outsourcing um, their products to other sources and other factories or maybe um, to other people that do not adhere to those standards. And so there just needs to be you know, more of a follow-up and more of control in those kind of policies. Sometimes it's because these factories, they just don't have the capacity to finish you know, these products in time. So maybe to um, uh, like dial back in terms of how much they demand out of, out of these factories as well. Since you're here in Hong Kong, if you had sort of one sort of final thought, you know, representing Tanle and Cambodia while you're here in Hong Kong, what, do you have any sort of words uh, that you'd like to share? Um, yeah, I guess I would just like to say that um, just encourage um, all of you guys and, uh, and to just get educated and, I mean, obviously if you're watching this video, you are and you're like trying to make a difference and so kudos to you and uh, keep going and yeah, all the best.
Well, good luck to you, and thanks so much for spending some time with us.